Hello, welcome to TJ Games Channel. I'm going to have a look at a game called Attack of the Mutant Camels by Jeff Minter from Llamasoft. Let's dive straight in. Now, I remember the first time I played this game not being quite used to the controls and for the first few games um, we did this. You know, I pushed left and started shooting and bang, straight to a camel. It's not realising what you do. Is see, I'm banging backwards and forwards. I'm doing this on purpose here because I do remember well before I got used to the way the controls worked. This was what we did. Shields nine. So when I hit the camel, yeah, I lose a shield. Right. So that's what was going on. But as you see, you can actually, you know, do quite a lot of damage. And I'm down to the last two camels without really caring about bumping into anything. So for a while as a kid I was doing this and thinking, wow, you know, this is a really hard game but I'm actually doing something. Okay, right, let's play the game properly now. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting, that just chucked us straight out to basic. Why would it do that? I used to load this off tape so it was a little bit different. Right, this time I'm going to go a little bit of speed to the left and we're not going to keep pushing left there. And we're just going to side it up. A little bit faster than camels because they are trying to overrun you. Let's slow down a bit there. So now you can see by just subtle tapping left and right on the stick, I'm actually causing damage without losing any shields. I can dodge him now. I'm dodging all those things that come out of his mouth, which I think looks like a little alien spaceship or something, but I think it's supposed to be sort of camel spit. Holy camel spit. And he got me just as I was uh, trying to get away there. One of those homing things. Are they homing or are they just randomly moving around? Oh, no, he got me. They're kind of... They are really approaching your shit. I can't... Ugh. Right, I'm doing the bouncy thing again without meaning it. I'm actually actively coming towards you, or is it just random? They certainly don't seem to be following a straight trajectory on those things. But right, I'm going to be careful here, they're really moving up fast. Oh, chill. So if the camels get to far right and been overrun. Oh, damn it. I hate the fact that when you get hit it sends you absolutely flying. There we go, there's another down. Oh, right. yeah, still five jets. it gives you but it kind of needs to because this is quite tricky. Ow! Go away! Wow, that was lucky. Almost inside the camel there. Ow! You can't shoot those damn projectiles. been overrun say what so looking there the camel was not to the far right I don't get that that's rude okay let's have one more game and it really does seem to be spitting you out of the game when you lose okay right so we're gonna speed up quickly this time and then slow down on the approach past him shoot him in the back so that's a good strategy I think because as you're getting closer to the camel you fire more shots because it seems your bolts only 
they exist until they hit the camel, but only a certain amount appear on the screen at a time, which... I was playing another game like that the other day, what was that? That's what we were playing that did that. Oh. oh those things. Better strategy for getting rid of them. Right. Let's yeah, keep the momentum. Let's attack both cameras there. It'd be nice if you could tell when the camels were gonna blow up. I don't think there's any way to really know how many shots you've got on them. when you're getting closer and closer you feel they're about to explode and then they don't and you risk hitting into them oh right. better than the previous fast attempt I did where I got overrun ah go away go off two shields still got five jets left there Last camel, don't overrun me. We've got loads of space, although we found out last time it doesn't appear. They need to get all the way over to the right, just quite close to. Oh, there's my jet, right, okay. I should have plenty of time to get this guy, surely. Yay, off he goes. This has a hyper warp stage where you have to avoid things, which reminds me of playing Encounter the other day. So this is obviously two dimensional, and that was uh, sort of limited 3D, but this is very similar, isn't it? It's, it's the same level of tension that we're talking about. When you get right to the end, how can you avoid things as they appear right in front of you? Anyway, that seemed easier than. This attempt to at encounter. Right, level two. Ah, straight away I go straight to the camel's backside, I think. His backside was fine, I don't know what I did. Ah. Place there. Right, okay. We'll write that go off. I do like the uh, backdrop on this. Oh. All of Jeff Minter's games have a very similar sort of feel to it, very psychedelic graphics. And that's a trend that has continued right up to date on modern games. Polybius. I was just trying to think of the name of the recent game of his I played, Polybius, which was a recent-ish creation. There is a sort of myth and legend behind, I think, a non-existent game called Polybius. Uh, I think, was it not uh, like a training, military training game, which some people said appeared in certain arcades. And anyway, there's a lot of mystery behind it, I think, to be referenced in various geeky pop culture but anyway Jeff decided to make a game of it and it's available oh, well, I played it on PlayStation 4 and it also actually works with 3D and PlayStation 4 VR which I uh, do possess a headset which I've had a little bit of use of but I haven't got all the controllers for that I'll just the uh, just redo the headset and the controller traditional PlayStation 4 controller. Anyway, fun game and uh, same sort of psychedelic graphics that you'll see across most of uh, Minter's titles. Ah. I 
did get him there. I'd have thought he was close to dead. Right, so we'll be lucky if we get this one at the speed they're running. I think we can tie them. straight through him on the last shot. Here we go again. Ah. Fatal pre-jump impact. It was about to happen at some point, wasn't it? So, like the counter, does that mean that leaves you on the same level? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Do all that work, and you're still here. So it's a good, oh, it's a good little blast. This, but you've really got to be a bit more invested to uh, spend a lot of time trying to progress through the levels because it is really tricky. Well, you have to mess with the uh, control speed, stuff to adjust. Oh. Adjusting your velocity, then you hit something and you go absolutely flying, and you got to correct it. A few shots on him as we go by and get to this guy. Uh, so I used to have this on tape, as with the majority of my games, other than a small handful of cartridges we have. Um, and I seem to remember this was quite quick to load, so you could do it in about, I don't know, five minutes or so. And have a quick blast before you went on to something that took longer. It wasn't a massive game, um, but yeah. That's a very quick game of Attack of the Mutant Camels by Jeff Minter from Llamasoft. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Going to keep this a short video uh, just to give you a feel of the game. So um, if you like this content, um, please click the like button and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. It'd be great to get a few more subscribers at the moment. Um, we're just trying to grow the channel a bit. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.